Hey robot makers, Raspberry Pi have just launched six new camera modules. Okay, so let's take a closer look. Cameras come in two different types. There is the high quality camera and then there is the latest version of the camera module. So the camera module three comes in four varieties. There is a standard module, there is the noir module, which we'll have a look at in a second. Then there's the camera module three wide, which is a wide angle lens. And we have a combination of the noir and wide, which is the camera module three noir wide. And then there is the high quality camera modules. There's the upgrade to the CS mount. And then there's the brand new M12 mount, which brings a whole range of extra lenses that you can add to these high quality cameras. Let's have a closer look at the details. So here's the lineup. We've got the, the wide on the left there. Middle left, we have the noir wide. Comes in that slightly darker colored uh, PCB board. That's a nice touch there. Then we have the standard Raspberry Pi camera module three. And then on the very right hand side, we have the camera module three noir. The high quality cameras come in two varieties. So as I said, there is the CS mount version, which has previously been available. And then there is the M12 mount, which is a new model for this year. Specifications, let's get into some detail, shall we? So this has the Sony IMX708 sensor and the new feature for this year, all these camera modules come with autofocus. So all these new four camera modules come with autofocus. They're 12 megapixels, uh, which is a big increase from the previous generation. And they have a large 7.4 diagonal sensor. They have this rapid phase detection autofocus, which means it can rapidly focus on an object near or far. And the standard modules have a 75 degree angle of view. And they also have a high dynamic range or HDR mode which can be used up to three megapixels. They're the exact same dimensions from a mounting point perspective as in the size of the holes and the distance between them as the version 2 camera. It is slightly thicker because of the autofocus lens and the mechanism for that so it's slightly deeper and it's compatible with the Raspberry Pi's Pi Camera 2 Python library which is also out today. So next up is the Noir. So this is similar to the previous generation's Noir version of camera which means it has no infrared filter and therefore it allows you to see in the dark as long as there's some infrared lighting to illuminate the area. So it features the same Sony IMX708 sensor, the same I2C controlled autofocus and it's still 12 megapixels, comes with that large 7.4 millimeter diagonal sensor, has that rapid phase detection autofocus as the other camera, has the same 75 degree diagonal angle of view. Also can do the HDR 3 megapixel high dynamic range photos and video and has the same dimensions as the previous camera module as well. So it's completely compatible with the new Pi Camera 2 Python Library 2. So let's look at some of the wide cameras now. So there's two wide cameras which mirror the, the previous two. So again these come with the same Sony IMX708 sensor. The wide ones have a 120 degree of viewing angle. So it's a fisheye lens um, similar to the sort of GoPro lens. These would be perfect for our kinds of robotics projects where you want to capture a really wide angle in front of the robot rather than sort of a narrower view at 75 degrees like the other models. Again it comes with the exact same mounting dimensions as the second generation and is compatible with the Raspberry Pi Lib Camera 2 Python Library 2. If you like these videos please make sure you give them a like, drop me a comment, let me know if this is something that you're interested in and are you going to buy one of the new cameras? Do you have the previous generation? Do you use a different type of camera like the Arduino Cam for example? And also make sure you hit the notification bell so you get notified when I go live or when I release a new video. And I do go live every single Sunday at 7 p.m. GMT so make sure you check out and you have the notification switched on so you don't miss out a single video. Okay, let's look at the last um, one of the smaller camera modules. This is the Noir Wide. So this combines the Noir camera with the no infrared filter with the wide angle 120 degree angle of view lens. Again, autofocus uses the same Sony IMX708 sensor and again is compatible with the Raspberry Pi's Pi Camera 2 Python library. So next up, the high quality camera mounts. So this is the new one. This is the M12 mount. This features the Sony IMX 477R stacked back illuminated sensor and this is 12.3 megapixels so this has got even more pixels than the previous uh, cameras that we've just looked at. It's got the large 7.9 diagonal sensor on board and it can take different types of lenses so these don't come with lenses you have to buy additional lenses to screw in place and this can take between 2.6 millimeter and 11.8 lens sizes. It also has an integrated tripod mount this is the quarter inch tripod mount and this is also compatible with the Pi Camera 2 Python library. Next we've got the CS mount. So this is an upgraded version of the CS camera mount and this features the new Sony IMX 477R stacked 
back illuminated sensor. This again has got 12.3 megapixels, got the large 7.9 diagonal sensor, and this can take between 12.5 and 22.4 lens sizes. Again, it's got the tripod mount integrated into the bottom so that all the weight of the lens can be uh, pivoted on the, the tripod mount, which is a really nice feature. And again, this is compatible with the Raspberry Pi's Pi Camera 2 Python library. This is the previous generation. I understand that these are still going to be available, so you'll be able to choose which camera suits your need and which fits your pocket as well. So you can see there that these are the exact same sizes as the, the new ones, just the depth of the camera lens is slightly different. Okay, let's do a bit of an unboxing, shall we? So I've got a couple of these over here on the, uh, the table. So I've got the camera modules here. Let's open up this one. This is the standard lens. So it comes with the, the cable attached. So if you're gonna run this on a Raspberry Pi 2, 2W, you will need to have the slightly different um, cable types. You can buy the cables um, from all good resellers that uh, are the slightly smaller size. So you can see the module there, it's quite thick and it says on there, camera module three. So my, my Sony camera is trying to auto focus on this, uh, this cable, that's what's going on there. There we go, that's better. So you can see there, Raspberry Pi and there's the, the module. And on the back, it's the same kind of dimensions. So that's, as you can see, very similar. That's the version two that it's next to there. The exact same mounting dimensions. These are the Picon camera modules you might have seen before. Let's have a look at the Noir one now. So this is very similar to the, the one we've just looked at. So it does come with a little blue infrared filter as well. So inside the box, there's like a little blue piece of cellophane, which you can put over the, the camera module. So as you can see here, this is the Noir module, and this one is the same kind of dimensions as the standard one. It just has that infrared filter missing from the inside. And you can see which one it is because it's got the darker PCB. And these are the exact same dimensions as each other. Again, it comes with the cable. And then let's open up the wide angle. So this is the wide one. Again, you can see the, it says wide on there. Um, you can't really tell with, without comparing it to another one. The lens on this one looks ever so slightly concave and the lens on this one looks ever so slightly convex. So it's quite difficult to tell the difference between the two here. Again, it comes with a cable. So that's the lineup of the three new cameras that I've been sent by Raspberry Pi. The high quality camera module, I've not been sent one of those yet. I also haven't been sent the Noir wide, so I haven't got those to compare yet. And the other thing which I'm not able to do is actually show you this running because the software required to drive these hasn't been released just yet. And I wasn't able to get access to a pre-release version. So unfortunately today's unboxing is just seeing the actual cameras themselves. Now you might have seen the previous projects I've done on these uh, Raspberry Pi cameras. So these are the Picon. They have a Raspberry Pi inside and they've got space for a battery and a space for a screen. So this one you might have seen before, which is the Picon. There it is. And this has got the high quality lens module on it. And this is just a, the earlier prototype. This one features an Argicam time of flight sensor. So a new little robot I'm just designing at the back over here. That features a 16 megapixel Argicam. And I'm looking at swapping that out with one of these brand new auto focusing Raspberry Pi cameras because why not? So if you've not already joined me on Discord, then you are certainly missing out on the deeper conversation that we have over there. So head over to kevsrobots.com slash Discord and you can sign up today. It's completely free. And if you want to follow me on social media, I'm all over social media. You can check me out on TikTok. I'm Kevin MacLear6 on TikTok. On Instagram, I'm Kevin MacLear. On Twitter, I'm at KevsMac. And I'm also on Mastodon at KevsMac at Mastodon.social. So be sure to follow me on there as well and say hi. And if you want to support the show, you can do this in a number of different ways as well. So if you're watching this on replay and you can only be watching this on replay because this one isn't live, you can do a super thanks. So after you clicked on the subscribe button, you'll see a super thanks button on the little bar at the bottom. And you can also join the membership program as well if you want on there. Again, that can just help out the price of a coffee per month. Or if you want to buy an actual coffee per month, you can do that as well. You can head over to kesrobots.com slash coffee. There's all the links that you need there as well. And I do have a number of supporters. So let me uh, pull this up right now. So we've got some uh, supporters which will be just appearing here at left and right. So let's have a look at our supporters first. Look in the right direction over here. Uh, so we've got Mark Hampson. We have David Redding. We have uh, Shroomy. We've got Derek. We've got RGS. 
Um, we've got uh, Roland, we've got Bill and Alex. And then members, we have uh, Tom Weiser. And Tom very, very generously signed up for another year. Um, so a big shout out, Tom. Thank you so much for being such a long time supporter of the show. Uh, we've also got Anthony R. Hollins, who's just joined as well. We've got Keith, we've got Shemi, and we have Steve Phillips as well. And then YouTube members, we have Fred Moore. We've got Bill Hoy. We have uh, Dale from Hy Hybrid Robotics. We've got uh, Hans from Cheerlights. We have Michael, we have Fraser, we have um, Jose, we have Johan. We we have a John Paul and we also have Tom as a YouTube member as well. So I think that's everything I wanted to cover off. Yes, my notes tell me Finn, <laughs> we're done. Are you interested in these products? Are you going to be checking out the Raspberry Pi? Are you going to be buying them from your local reseller of Raspberry Pi stuff? Let me know in the comments below and I shall see you next time. So bye for now.